taking care of the orphans and the widows, those who can't help themselves. Do we sometimes forget that's religious expression? Welcome to the Simple Not Shallow podcast, coming to you from the hallowed halls of my kitchen university. Kitchen table, perfect place to sit, laugh, learn, and drink coffee. Now, this is the very first coffee side chat episode, so named because of this here cup of coffee sitting on the table right beside me as we chat. And the first topic we're going to talk about is what does it mean to be a Christian? I mean, is his the Christian faith? It seems like it would be reasonable to understand what Christianity is all about as we consider all things that influence our faith, right? So as I've been reading through the Bible, trying to find what a good, reasonable definition of Christianity is, of what it means to be a Christian, here's what I found. Are you ready for this? It's pretty profound. It means to be a follower of Christ. Now, before you say, yeah, well, Captain Obvious, that's kind of obvious. Can you be any more obvious? First, oh yeah, give me a chance. Second, well, let me add a little more depth and a little more information to that definition. Expand upon it just a bit. It is a following of Christ that involves three things. It involves, first and foremost, a relationship. Without a relationship with Christ, there's nothing. Second, it involves studentship. Discipleship is what the Bible mentions, calls it. And third, it involves actions taken based upon what we've learned. If there is no studentship, there is no Christian relationship. If there is no actions taken, we have learned nothing. Though it is possible to know things about religion and to do things religiously and not have a relationship. Not very pleasant outcomes, but it's possible. And yes, all three things are different. The relationship is different from the studentship, is different from the actions taken, but they are so integrated that to be a follower of Christ, you cannot separate them. Now, I'll list all the passages that I get all this in the description area for this video. Now, here's something interesting. The studentship is not just about learning how to relate to God. It's knowing facts, truths, figures, anything you can learn about Christianity, like the fact that there's over 5,000 manuscripts that help establish the authenticity of the Bibles we have today, of the Bible translations we have today. You know, there's all kinds of intellectual proof and evidence for the resurrection. There's all kinds of answers to uh, problem questions that people have, like the problem of pain. There's very, very wonderful answers. We need to learn those things. We need to learn about theology. Who is God? We need to learn about the Trinity, how we figure that there is the Trinity and how that works. You know, all things, the resurrection, the virgin birth, we need to be able to look things through excuse me, think things through, and have answers. That's all part of the studentship. That helps us live our life. And actions taken, while yes, it involves religious expression, here's an interesting thing to remember. The religion God considers pure, taking care of the orphans and the widows, those who can't help themselves. Do we sometimes forget that's religious expression? keeping ourselves from being caught up in the cares of the world, being influenced by the certain cultural trends that are happening, and staying focused on God. That's pure religion. Minding your tongue is pure religion. So yes, religion does involve church services, singing the songs, which style of service you prefer. Those are religious expressions, yes. But if that's all you do, you don't have the relationship with Christ. You don't have true following of Christ. Anyway, my coffee's starting to run short. And 
so I probably ought to wrap things up because you don't want me talking when I'm out of coffee. Trust me on this one. But do me a favor. As this is meant to be a conversation, tell me what you think about all this in the comment section. Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? But more importantly, for the purposes of continuing a conversation, tell me why. Say, Charles, I think you're wrong, and here's my scriptural evidence to prove it. I think you're wrong because I had this teaching in church. I think you're wrong because. Let me know so we can talk about it. You know, conversations are meant to help meant to help us learn, meant to help us grow, meant to help us mature together. We may not always agree on things, and that's okay. We are meant to reason together. You know, maybe I need to change what I think. Maybe you need to change what you think. Maybe we both need to alter what we think and meet in the middle. We can only do that if we engage. Well, until next time then, may you grow in your faith and may your coffee cup overflow.